So welcome to this new Cubix tutorial. My name is Timon and today I'm going to show you how you can create a parallax animation in Blender. So what parallax actually means is um, you take one image and uh, you split this up into multiple layers and um, after that you're going to import those layers in Blender and um, there you're going to place those layers at different distances to the camera and after that you're gonna animate the camera and um, once you rendered it out you'll get a result something like the animation I'm currently showing you. So to complete this tutorial you're gonna need um, at least one image. Um, you're also gonna need some sort of photo editing software. You could use GIMP but um, I recommend you to use Photoshop and um, you're also going to need Blender, obviously, since this is a Blender tutorial. <laughs> so the image that I'm going to be using um, is this skater. So let's open it up in Photoshop. So in here, just double click on the first layer and call this like um, background. And then we're going to duplicate this, and this is going to be the skater. And um, with this we're going to make a, a quick selection, so let's use the quick selection tool, like make the brush a bit bigger, and just select it out. For the smaller parts, just um, scale the brush bit down. And once you've done this, you just make sure that you selected the um, the skater, and then click on this little icon under here to create a mask. And if you can um, disable the background, you can see that we have a perfect selection. Um, we could stop there, but you can make one little trick and one little thing and then right click on the mask and then you can select refine mask and there you have some nice little tools and um, once um, one tool is this brush um, if you select this you can for example um, go to his hair and just draw over it and it will um, make the selection a bit better and um, what I also do very often is make the edge a bit soft and inset it so that we um, can be sure we don't have anything of the background in the selection. But it's looking pretty good so you can select OK. Um, so that's that's it for the skater. And now we're gonna um, erase it him from the background. And for this we're gonna use the lasso tool and just make a selection around the skater and then make sure that you have the background selected go into edit and fill um, segment or whatever it's called in English um, just fill and there you're gonna use um, the content not any color or anything just um, the content and then hit OK, and it's gonna take a while. So, and once it's, um, once it's done, you can hit Command D to um, deselect everything, and this is looking okay. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but I think um, later on you won't notice in the animation, I promise. And um, last thing is you just export any layer individually as one PNG with transparency. So for this go to file and then save as. Um, go to where you want to save it, click there just on um, to just select PNG and um, repeat this step for all layers.
So the first thing we're going to do in Blender is to activate the Add Images as Planes add-on. For this, press Ctrl, Alt and U on your, number, uh, on your keyboard, which brings up this window. There, head over to the Add-ons tab and search for Images. And make sure the checkbox is checked and then click on Save User Settings. After that, we're going to delete the cube and the lamp because we're not going to need it. Then click on Shift and A, also press Shift and A on your keyboard. And we're going to use Add Images as planes. Um, then go to where you saved your files. Select the file you want to import. And here we have to change some settings. So click on Use Alpha and click on Shadeless because we don't want the image to actually be affected by um, any light or shadow of the scene. And then also click on See Transparency because this will just give us the right transparency. Then click on Import Images as Planes. And um, after that I'm gonna press Shift and A again. Head over to Images as Planes. Click on the other file you want to add or just any other file you want to add. I'll just re repeat those steps and press enter and then we're gonna select both of those planes. Um, press R, X and 90. Just press those keys on your keyboard which will rotate it, um, will rotate those planes. Then click on the skater and move it bit to the front. So press G and Y which will move it to about here. And well let's let's scale those planes bit up. Just select them and hit S on your keyboard. Then select the camera and I want to position it at the center and clear the rotation. So just press Alt G and Alt R then press 0 on your number pad which will go into the camera perspective then press R, X and 90 again with camera selected and this will rotate it again then press G and Y and move your mouse to move a bit out and now if we go into material shading we can see the um, our skater on top of the background and when we move our camera around you can see the parallax effect. Now to complete this um, move your camera a bit around to spot that you actually like. Um, you can do this with shift and A and then use W, A, S, D, Q and E on your keyboard to move around. Um, I think this, this looks good. And then hit I on your keyboard to set a keyframe. Select location and rotation. Then go to frame 100 or so. <clears throat> and then shift and F again. Move your camera around. Zoom in a bit. Maybe go a bit up maybe even rotate it a bit, hit I again to set an other keyframe and if you're gonna play the animation back you can see this which is pretty cool I mean this is just the effect we wanted to achieve so um, now the camera motion is pretty um, basic I guess so I highly recommend you to check out Gleb Alexandrov's video up, um, on how to make handheld camera motion. It's pretty awesome. Um, and it will give your home video a completely different look and feel. And now we're gonna export the video. For this, crank up the resolution. Select a movie codec. I'm gonna use QuickType um, on a Mac computer that actually makes sin sense, but on Windows I would go for H.264 or something like this. Um, then select where you want to save it on the desktop. Mm, gonna save it as 
video. Simply accept. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, however, if you really are curious about how to do post-processing and stuff and how to make your video look really great within Blender, I recommend you to check out my own video on um, exporting and post-processing. Um, there I'm using Cycles Render, so another render engine. In my final video I actually used Cycles Render um, because I also added depth of field so that I have a blurry background and stuff, um, which looks a lot better, but takes longer to render. Um, it's not any different, but I think for most cases like this, it will work. And then you just click on animation and it's gonna render your animation. So um, yeah, thanks for watching as always. Leave a comment if you liked the video, um, tell me what you didn't like and well, we see us next time.